morning and I welcome you. Hello everyone. So we are trying to learn the subject engineering mechanics. So uh, in first part we have all seen that all the basics of the engineering mechanics, what does the mechanics means, what does engineering mechanics means, how the forces are applied, what are the types of forces, okay, all the things we have seen. So next part which where we have stopped was the resolution of force system. So, what do you mean by resolution? So, resolution is nothing but the resolving, okay. Uh, resolution is nothing but the resolving. So, the process of splitting up of the given force into the members. So, splitting means the uh, in two directions the forces can be splitted, okay, by which the effect of the body will not change, okay. Nothing but the effect of the body will not change. So, the process of splitting up of the given force into the number of components without changing its effect of the body is called as a resolution. So, see, if I want to give you the example, if I am having the force of 100 Newton, okay, if I am having the force of 100 Newton and if, and if I, I uh, the 100 Newton force is making some changes in that uh, body, okay. So, when I split up, okay, in 75 and 25, okay, that means total, it is nothing but 100, okay, the same effect will be happen, uh, so the same effect will take on the body which was been uh, made by the 100 Newton force, is, uh, this is called as a splitting force, okay, this is called as a, uh, this is nothing but a splitting force, okay. So, the force can be resolved, how can you, how it can be resolved, so into two mutually perpendicular components, okay, into two mutually perpendicular components uh, on two axes which are not uh, at right angle to each other, okay, and next is when it lies on x axis also and y axis also, okay. So, first we will see uh, that uh, when a resolution of force system into two mutually perpendicular components, okay. So, two mutually perpendicular, perpendicular components let the force F be uh, inclined at an angle of theta to uh, x axis, okay. So, here we have seen, so here I have given the example, sorry, so here I have given the example that let the let a force F be inclined at an angle theta to x axis, so see this angle, okay. So the force F is inclined at an angle theta to x axis as shown in the figure length OA, so okay, so from here to here. So, this length OA, okay. So, length OA represents the magnitude of the force which is F, okay. We have to resolve it into uh, two components that is Fx along x axis and Fy along y axis, okay. Fy along y axis. So, see here. Now, let Fx is, uh, Fx is equal to x component of force F, okay, and Fy is nothing but the F component, uh, Fy is nothing but the y component of force F. So, F is nothing but as I have given the example of 100 Newton, okay. So, Fx is 75 and Fy is 25, okay. So, like that, likewise that let Fx is equal to x component of force F and Fy is y component of force F. So, in angle OAB, cos theta we know, uh, we all know what is the formula for cos theta, cos theta, uh, okay. So, cos theta is nothing but adjacent upon hypotenuse. So, adjacent OB upon OA, okay. Adjacent is nothing but the OB, this is OB upon OA, this is OB upon OA. So, what do you mean by OB and what do you mean by OA? So, we all know that o, uh, when I shift this, uh, when I want to find OB, okay, I want to find OB means component Fx, I have I want to find this OB means component Fx. So, OB is equal to OA into cos theta. So, what is OA? OA is nothing but the F, OA is nothing but the F. So, OB means Fx, Fx is equal to F cos theta, okay. Uh, uh, OB which is Fx uh, and when F is OA, okay, isn't it? So, Fx is equal to F cos theta. So, I have written here, okay, I have written here. So, next is sin theta, sin theta is nothing but opposite upon hypotenuse, okay. So, opposite, what is, what is opposite here? The opposite part is AB, opposite part is AB. So, AB upon OA, the hypotenuse is OA. So, I have to find AB. What is AB? AB is nothing but Fy, Fy component, okay. AB is nothing but the Fy component. So, sin theta is equal to uh, AB upon OA. So, I have want, I want to find o AB. So, that is why 
OA sin theta. So, AB is nothing but the FY component and OA is nothing but the F component. So, therefore, FY is equal to F sin theta. Okay. So, see, once again I am telling you this force F which is there, I, I have splitted, splitted into two parts which is fx and fy. So, what is fx? fx is, FX is nothing but the f cos theta and fy is nothing but the f sin theta. Okay? So, see here, when the forces f be inclined at an angle of theta to the y axis. Okay? So, we have seen here when the force is, uh, when the forces uh, uh, is inclined to x axis. We have seen now the forces inclined at x axis. Now, we will see when the force F is inclined at the uh, theta to angle to the y axis. Okay? So, here when uh, I am using uh, again the formula uh, of uh, sin theta and cos theta. So, I will go through this F is equal to F sin theta, F x is nothing but the F sin theta and F y is nothing but the F cos theta. Okay? As in previous slide which we have seen these formulas, okay. when I go through that formula, okay. when I go through that formula, I will get these answers, I will get these answers. Okay. So, f x is nothing but the f cos theta and f y is nothing but the f, uh, sorry, f x is nothing but f sin theta and f y is nothing but the f cos theta. So, see, you can uh, see here, okay, observe it, it is very carefully that f x and f y values are changing by sin theta and cos theta only. So, in previous slide f x was f cos theta and f y was f sin theta and here when the angle is making uh, theta uh, uh, angle to the y axis that time the value changes that f x is nothing but f sin theta and f y is nothing but the f cos theta. Okay. So, these are some of the sign conventions which I have uh, written here. So, when there is a pull type of force, I have uh, in the uh, previous lecture, I have told you that what is mean by a pull type of force, what is mean by, mean by a push type of force, is not it? So, pull, the arrow indicates all the things, okay? the arrow indicates all the things, what is mean by a pull type of force and what is mean by a push type of force. Okay? So, uh, pull type of force, when the force is a pull type of force, uh, first is, uh, so here I have written that F y and F x are the two components and F is the force, is not it? So, what will be the value of F x and what will be the value of F y? Okay? So, where the value of F x will be positive, why? It is going in right direction. Okay, it is going in right direction. That is why in first quadrant, it is actually it is in, is in, it is in first quadrant. So, f x is positive and f y is also positive. Why f y is positive? It is going upwards. Okay, as when we draw the graph at the uh, at the school age, we have we were uh, uh, drawing the graph. At that time, we know that rightward forces, uh, rightward uh, which uh, sign conventions are always positive, upward sign conventions are always positive, uh, leftward sign conventions are always negative and downward uh, uh, sign conventions are always negative. Okay? So, these are going, x, x direction is going in rightward direction and y direction is going upward. So, that is why it is f x is positive and also f y is positive. Then, so, so, next sign conventions uh, for second quadrant f x is negative. As I told you, when uh, while drawing a graph uh, at the school time, when the uh, we, we, we were willing to, willing to write here uh, in the left side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, we were writing the points minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 from 0, is not it? So, that is why here also when uh, x is making arrow towards the left, so f x is negative and f y is positive. Why f y is positive? Because again it is going up. So, same as this and these are same. Okay, but here this is going in right side direction and this is going in left side direction. So, that is why this is negative and uh, this is uh, the second part is positive. Next, we will go through the third point now. In third quadrant, the both are negative means f x and f y are negative. As I told you, uh, f x is uh, making an arrow towards the left and f y is making arrow downwards. So, f x is nothing but, uh, uh, so f x is negative okay and f y is also negative okay f x is negative and f y is negative why because f x is making arrow towards the left and f y is making arrow toward downwards and he in fourth quadrant 
and, and in fourth quadrant so f y is in downward direction and f x is in right direction so here in fourth quadrant f x is positive and f y is negative so sign conventions so f x as f x is going on right side uh, therefore it is positive uh, and uh, when f y is going on uh, downwards it is negative okay so next when it is push type of a uh, push type of a force so so arrow as i told you the arrow indicates all the things so this was this arrow was going away from the point that is why it is called as a push pull type of force and this point is uh, coming towards that joint that is why this is called as a push type of force so fy and fx in first quadrant on both are uh, uh, fx is negative fy is negative why fx is negative because when the arrow is acting towards the point okay so the sign conventions of these fx and fy also changes okay so fx going towards the left and fy going downwards okay so that is why fx and fy in first quadrant are both are negative okay as we have seen it is vice versa of that above points both were positive okay so now in second quadrant what is second quadrant so when the forces is acting at this point okay so the fx force is uh, going towards the right and fy force is going in downward direction that is that is why fx is positive and fy is uh, negative okay fx is positive and fy is negative and in third quadrant so and in, and in third quadrant uh, fx is positive why because it is going in right direction and fy is also uh, positive because it is going in upward direction and in fourth quadrant to, to for the pull type of force okay fy is going in upward direction that is why uh, that is why fy is positive and fx is negative why because it is going in left side direction okay so uh, the simple way to understand it is nothing but when the forces are going at the right side it is always positive and the forces are going at the uh, upward direction is always positive when the forces are going in leftward direction is always negative and when the forces are going in downward direction it is always negative okay so i have written uh, here the conclusion from case 1 to case 8 so we'll read it fast okay so first is component acting horizontally right uh, rightward is always positive R components acting horizontally leftwards along uh, negative x axis are always negative <coughs> components acting vertically upwards along positive y axis are positive and components acting vertically downwards along negative y axis are always negative okay so we can, you can read here some uh, these uh, four points so you can get uh, you can grasp all grasp all the things so i have written some note here also so what is the note it is very important so when the force is acting away from the point of application is nothing but the pull type of force so see so this is a point and these these two forces which is f and f are acting away from the point so that is why it is called as a pull type of force and when the force is acting away from the uh, point of application is known as a pull type of force so see uh, towards the application okay so these points are going towards this point okay these points are going towards this point so when the forces are acting away from the point of application is not always called as a uh, actually this is uh, push type of force sorry this is a push type of force this is nothing but a push type of force okay so i think you all understand what is mean by pull type of force what is mean by push type of force what are the forces how the forces are been uh, conducted here okay so this is our third lecture from next time onwards, we will see the further part. Okay. Thank you. Thank you one and all.